And let's take a look at the Motorola slash on semiconductor. Sorry, still keeps calling the Motorola every time I see the old uh, Motorola uh, prefix of MC. But the MC34264, uh, 262, sorry, power factor uh, controller. It's just an 8-pin dip package. Comes in SO as well. It's got a uh, 2% internal band gap reference, zero current detectors, uh, quadrant multipliers, and uh, various other stuff. So let's take a look at the uh, internal simplified block diagram here. And as you can see, not a huge amount of uh, circuitry in there. There's an internal uh, band gap voltage reference. That's an over voltage uh, comparison compatible, which comes from the uh, voltage feedback, which goes into an error amplifier. There's a compensation pin. Uh, the input from the multiplier is here. There's the output uh, driver, and there's a current sense uh, input as well, with the uh, zero current detect input, because it has to uh, switch. It has to uh, know when there's zero current, and we'll take a look at that. And there's a power pin, and that's pretty much it. There's not much else, but we'll see if we scroll down here and we go to typical configurations, we can actually have a look at. Um, it's well worth uh, reading this. It's got introduction and uh, how a uh, power factor correction system actually works. And we'll have a look at what happens if you don't have a power factor correction circuit. Uh, you've got the basic uh, AC uh, mains coming in here, full wave bridge rectifier as we saw in the schematic, and if the power factor correction uh, circuitry wasn't there, you've got the bulk storage capacitor. So full wave bridge rectifier straight into the um, uh, storage capacitor generating a high voltage DC, which then goes into your uh, DC to DC converter, which uh, then powers your load. Now, the problem with that is that looking at the waveforms here, you can see the AC uh, line waveform here, which is the dashed, the outer dashed one there. That's the ideal, the 50 hertz or 60 hertz mains input. And because uh, you've the energy is stored in the bulk capacitors here, the voltage peak, you're only going to draw um, a current spike. So this waveform here, this spiky one here, is the current uh, drawn during the peak period of the waveform. And that's quite, it's going to be a large current draw, so you're actually going to drag down the line voltage, the mains voltage, just a little bit, and it's going to sag, as they say, as they call their, they call that line sag. And so you're going to get these current pulses at the positive and negative peaks at the mains input. And that's not very good at all for, uh, for getting a power factor correction of one. And in fact, they tell you here that uh, this configuration can give you uh, commonly a uh, power factor ratio of 0.5 to 0.7. And that's not great at all. Now, I don't think this is the place to actually get into a detailed discussion on uh, how a power factor correction uh, pre-converter works, a current mode one like we've got here. If you want to uh, get the details of this, by all means, uh, download the data sheet. It'll be linked in um, in the uh, notes there. So, But this is basically um, what we've got. We've added a PFC power factor correction pre-converter between the bridge rectifier and the bulk storage capacitor we had before and the rest of your DC to DC converters all the same. And of course you've got the high frequency bypass capacitor in here and you would have noted that on the uh, on the schematic for this um, uh, model as well. But we're looking at the MC34362 power factor correction pre-converter and there's basically a series inductor here with a uh, MOSFET uh, pulling that down to ground and an output uh, diode. And you'll note that that is basically um, a boost converter. That's basically, that's exactly the same configuration um, as you get for a boost DC to DC converter. But the whole basic concept of it is it's going to uh, switch the MOSFET down here so that you get a half sinusoidal um, average uh, current basically uh, drawn from your inductor current. So that's a series inductor, series current through your inductor. You're going to have these peak values, but they're going to average out and smooth out um, over your AC mains or half of your AC mains waveform like that. So instead of having just one big spike here like you would get without uh, this power factor correction circuit in here, you get multiple spikes spread out over 
half of the sinusoidal waveform and that's and, and that averages out and then include and that improves your power factor uh, correction and if you take a look at the rest of it here it tells you all about the different functional block diagrams inside the device and i highly recommend uh, you read it makes for some great bedtime reading we've got the error amplifier the multiplier which is pretty much the key to how it all works over voltage comparators zero current detectors current sets comparator and latch how it all works and uh, it's great stuff i highly recommend it and Bingo, down here we've got our design equations and uh, there's a whole bunch of them down here and where uh, you might have um, seen uh, me go through uh, similar equations like this before for uh, DC to DC converter uh, devices and the problem, one of the problems with uh, this is that uh, let's say you're uh, trying to calculate the uh, required, uh, well you know, you want it wants to know the required converter output power, well what is that? Because this is a generic bench power supply. The, the user could be taking anywhere from zero output power right up to the maximum 600 watts or so. So um, really, uh, these values are going to be all over the shop and you have to um, design and do various trade-offs for various um, output uh, powers and things like that. So um, maybe you would uh, take it you know, at the maximum output power, but you'd have to go through the formulas to see how much uh, your power factor and other things traded off at lower uh, output powers. So um, you would have to go through the formulas, be my guest. Great stuff to do at bedtime, I love it. And uh, how the internal block diagram and the basic um, application circuit is down here. There's the MOSFET, there's the uh, transformer, exactly how we uh, see it there. And uh, here's a typical table of uh, some power factor controller test data. And we've got power factors of 0.999 down to 0.996. So it's going to be pretty close to one. So these things work pretty well. And if you take a brief look at the application circuit here, you can see the main inductor T here, but it's actually a transformer because it's got a secondary winding here that goes down to ground and that uh, taps uh, effectively allows you to tap off the uh, output, read the output current. And that's exactly what happens on pin 5 here, which detects uh, zero output current. Pin 8 is the uh, VCC uh, pin, so it just uh, filters that there and powers the actual device. And pin 3 down here is our our multiplier uh, input and you'll notice the uh, it's just a voltage divider here from the directly from the uh, uh, rectified uh, mains input so that's reading that's going to be reading the the harmonics off there that come from the uh, full wave bridge rectifier and that goes in to the multiplier and the rest of the device and there's our output driver which drives the uh, MOSFET which pulls that down to ground once again through a current sense resistor there so um, that's basically all there is to it and we see that uh, in, in got some typical waveforms here which is quite nice and uh, if you want to uh, take a look typical test things and error amplifiers error output comp ah current waveform spike suppression all sorts of things highly recommend you uh, download this oh look at the old school layout look at the old school <laughs> taped layout there i love that brilliant Geez, that'd be home anywhere in the 1970s. But it can't really be that old. Nobody uh, cared, cared about power factor correction back in the 70s, did they? Except for huge, uh, maybe big uh, industrial stuff or things like that. Certainly not at the uh, bench uh, power supply, lab power supply level, I don't think. Anyway, um, I highly recommend you uh, download this data sheet and uh, uh, you know, print it out and uh, have some good bedtime reading. It's most interesting.